Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, so just like we did last lesson, um, we're going to break up the lesson into two different lessons just to make life a little bit easier on all of us. So first part of this lesson is you're going to be finding unknown angle measures. Okay, that's the whole lesson. Um, we're going to go into what are the different kind of angles that are in there, um, how to figure out, you know, the different measures and that type of thing. So the first kind of angles that we're going to talk about are adjacent angles. Adjacent is a big family, a uh, big famous word for just next to. Okay. So the technical definition is there are two angles that share a common side um, and they have the same vertex. So this angle and this angle, you see that they share this side and they have the same vertex. So angle one and two are considered adjacent angles. Same thing here. You have O. C and you have AO and then in between you have B. So this angle and this angle share this side and they have the same common vertex. So anytime you have that, they're called adjacent angles. Next one we have are called complementary angles. Okay. Now complementary angles are two angles who have a sum of 90 degrees. Now the way you know is 90, they always put that little box in there. Um, just helps you to know that that is a 90 degree angle. If it is not in there, you cannot ever assume it's a 90 degree angle. Okay, you either have to fully calculate it, um, or you have to measure it. But never assume it's 90 unless they give you that. Okay, so for example, 30 and 60, not only are these adjacent angles, but the two of them add up to 90 degrees. So therefore, these are complementary angles. We use complementary angles a lot. Next one is called supplementary angles. Now, supplementary angles are when you have two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So, for example, this one right here is a straight line. So, we know a straight angle. You learned that last year, I believe. Um, if not, it was fourth grade. I don't remember exactly what you learned. But anyway, um, a straight angle is 180 degrees. Okay, so this one is 118 degrees. This angle is X, we obviously can figure out what it is, but this angle plus that angle is 180, so therefore that is 100, um, therefore they are supplementary angles. Now, it does not always have to be a straight line. This is not necessarily something we're covering this year. It is something you will cover, actually, I think we are going to do this later on this year. Um, so this angle and this angle are actually supplementary as well, because this one plus this one equal 180. Now, this is something special. This is more geometry-based, where... Um, these are two parallel lines cut by a transversal. I believe we do that later on this year, um, but I'm not exactly sure which chapter it falls in, but we'll cover that later on. Okay. Uh, last one is vertical angles. Now, vertical angles are formed by two intersecting lines. They must be two intersecting lines. That is different than this. This is not two intersecting lines. This is just a line with a ray going. So two intersecting lines forms these things called vertical angles. Now, vertical angles are the angles opposite one another. So this angle and this angle is considered vertical. Even though they're straight across, vertical doesn't mean straight up and down in this case. It just means across from. So these two are vertical angles. These two are vertical angles. And if you notice, both sets of vertical angles are congruent. So this is equal to that, congruent to that. This is congruent to that. Okay. This is just another one without the actual angle measures, just showing you that these two angles are across from each other are congruent. These two angles across from each other are congruent. Now, this angle plus this angle also happens to be supplementary. That and that is supplementary. That and that is supplementary, and that and that is supplementary. Oh, by the way, those are adjacent angles, and those are adjacent angles. So we got like all these different terms. We kind of use the term that's the most specific. So in this case, those are verticals. So how do we name an angle? Yeah, it just got complicated, didn't it? We name an angle with three points, okay? And what happens is the vertex letter always has to be in the middle. So this angle right here is angle ABC. You cannot say ACB. That doesn't exist, okay? The vertex is always going to be the middle letter, okay? So, for example, um, you know, so ABC and ABF... Okay, you notice this angle and this angle share a common side. They also share the vertex. So if two angles share a common side and they share a vertex, then they are adjacent angles. So these are considered adjacent angles. Now, there's a lot of set of adjacent angles in here. 
angle ABC and angle DBC. They are adjacent angles. Angle CBD and angle EBD. They are adjacent angles. Um, angle FBE and CBE. They're adjacent angles too. Oh, and EBF and FBA. I think you get the point of So now the next one is we're going to look at is angle EBC and angle EBC. I know they're the same. This is the angle symbol. Now, most of the time when I write it, I put this little uh, like curve or arc in it. Um, and the main reason is when you're writing these quick, this very easily can all of a sudden look like a less than sign. So to eliminate the less than sign, we just put that there. Now you're like, Mr. Prague, these are letters. I know. Sometimes we label um, angles with numbers later on. Um, not necessarily here, like in another year, probably when you get to geometry. You might do it with a letter. I mean, sorry, with a number. So you don't want to like get confused with that. So we, I just tend to use this just so that way. It's just easier to understand. So we're going to look at EBC. Well, look at EBC. What do you notice that's in there? Okay, it is a right angle. So this angle right here is 90 degrees. And if you notice, it's broken up into two adjacent angles. So angle EBD and angle CBD, these two angles add up to 90 degrees. So therefore, two angles that add up to 90 degrees are complementary. Okay, so these two are complementary angles. These are the only two complementary angles in this. Now we're going to look at ABC and CBD. So ABC, CBD. So if you notice, this is a straight line. Okay. So a straight line or a straight angle is 180 degrees. And we have two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So ABC, CBD, they add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, these two angles, ABC and CBD, are supplementary angles. Next one we have now is ABF and CBD. Now this one gets a little harder to see because we have all these lines here. You notice this right here is a straight line. This right here is a straight line. These two lines are intersecting at B, and they form four angles. They have angle ABF. CBD, they also have angle ABC and FBD. Those are the four angles that are formed from these two intersecting lines. So ABF and CBD, if you notice, are across from each other in these intersecting lines. Right? Since they're across from each other, they are vertical angles. And if you remember, vertical angles are congruent. Right? So ABF, angle ABF and angle CBD are congruent. But also, if we notice angle ABC and FBD are also vertical angles. So the measure of this plus the measure of that are congruent. Now, this one's a little hard to see because what do we have? We have FBD is broken up into um, two, lot, two angles. But then this one is complementary with this one. So you got all these signs. So the tough part is being able just to see, okay, where are my two lines? What angles are formed by those two lines? You have to kind of like you know, get the other parts out of your view. So now let's go ahead and actually kind of solve for some unknown angles. So classify the angles and then find out. So we have two intersecting lines. Two intersecting lines call, create vertical angles. So this angle and this angle are vertical this angle and this angle are vertical. So angles that are vertical are always congruent. So 70 equals X. Um, so X here is 70 degrees. Okay. Now we notice this one. Okay, again, these are vertical angles. This is vertical to that. So we have two intersecting lines. Since that is a 90 degree angle, X is 90 degrees. And that leads us here to two complementary angles. So what do we know? We know that this angle plus this angle has to equal 90 degrees. Tells me right there. So when we plug this in, so it's x plus 4 degrees 
plus 31 degrees equals 90 degrees. So now we're going to go through and solve it. Um, so 4 plus 31 is 35. Subtract 35 from both sides. X equals 55. Now you notice I did not put 55 degrees. Oops, because X does not equal 55 degrees. X is a variable. Okay. This angle is not 55. It's whatever this X is, which is 55 plus 4 degrees. So the angle measure is 59 degrees. X equals 55. How do you know whether you're supposed to put a degree sign or not? It really depends on what question are they asking. So if the variable is alone, okay, um, to start with, then yes, you'd put the degree sign. If it is connected to a number somehow, some kind of equation, then the variable does not have the degree sign, but the equation would have the degree sign. So if you're solving just for the variable, it would not have it. If you're solving for the angle, it would. Okay, so that's how you'll figure out what to do. So now we come to this one. Oh, wait a minute, there's none with numbers. So what? What do I know? These are complementary angles. So this angle plus this angle have to equal 90. So x plus 2x minus 3 equals 90. So now I combine my like terms. So I get 3x minus 3. Notice I took out the degree signs because we don't need those at this point. So we're solving for the variable. Um, so 3x minus 3, add 3 to both sides, 3x equals 93, therefore x equals 31. Mm -hmm. So now if the question asks, do I solve for x, it's 31. Find the angle measures, well this would be 31 degrees, this would be uh, 62 minus 3, which is 59 degrees. Right. Now let's come here, alright, so these are supplementary angles. Uh, just the two angles add up to 180 degrees. So I know that 85 degrees plus X degrees is 180. Subtract 85 from both sides. X equals 95 degrees. You notice we have the degree symbol here because X is the actual angle itself. Now we have this one. There are no numbers for a single, vet, for a single angle measure, but we have X. This one is X minus 4. So again, since they're supplementary angles, x, we add that to x minus 4, and we know that the sum of these two is 180 degrees. Now we just combine like terms. So x plus x is 2x minus 4. Add 4 to both sides, we get 2x equals 184, divide by 2, um, and x equals 92. Okay. So x in each case is 92. If you needed to actually find it, x would be 92, this would be 92 minus 4, which is 88, and 88 plus 92. So um, work on your assignment, have a little fun, um, enjoy yourself, reach out if you have any questions. Bye-bye.